Hello, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be talking about the color wheel. And we're going to start off with the three primary colors. There's yellow, red, and blue. And what's neat about the primary colors is they can be mixed together to form secondary colors. So if we mix yellow and red, we get orange. And if we mix red and blue, we get purple. And if we mix blue and yellow, we get green. And this is our color wheel. We have yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green. The color wheel not only tells us what primary colors to mix to get to secondary colors, but it also shows complementary colors. And complementary colors are shown on the color wheel by the opposite color. So green is complementary to red. So the two of these together are complementary. So I'll put these off to the side here. And I've made some clay cutouts. A green Christmas tree and a red house. And you can see that those are two complementary colors. So Christmas is formed by making complementary colors. And then orange and blue, these two, are also complementary colors. And I have a green, uh, I'm sorry, a blue fish and an orange duck. They're sharing the same pond. And these two colors go together very well. And finally, I have yellow and purple. They're on the opposite sides of the color wheel, so they're complementary. We have a yellow bunny and a purple butterfly. They're in the same garden together. They go together so nicely. Now after a rainy day, you may have noticed in nature something really colorful in the sky. It's made up of different strands, and the first strand is red. The next strand is orange. The strand after that is yellow, and then green, and then it's blue, and then it's violet. And this is just like the color wheel, except of, instead of being in a wheel like we saw before, nature puts the colors in a layer, sort of like a layer cake with all these different levels to it. And this is a rainbow. And there's a way to remember the colors of the rainbow. There's the letter R for red, the letter O for orange, the letter Y for yellow, the letter G for green, the letter B for blue. Another word for blue is indigo. And then instead of purple, there's another word for purple called violet, and that's V, V for violet. So R-O-Y-G-B-I-V, Roy G. Biv. That's the name of a guy that you can remember. And if you remember Roy G. Biv, you'll remember all the colors of the rainbow in their order from top to bottom. So just to review our colors, we have Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And they also form two different sets of colors. On the left side, we have red, orange, and yellow. These are warm colors. On the right side, we have purple, blue, and green. These are the cool colors. And there's a spectrum of really hot, red hot, to deep purple that's very cold. It's almost like an iceberg. You can think of these blues and purples, and then fire, red, and orange. And you can think of that whenever you're putting colors together. 
Thank you so much for joining me. This is Jeff from Prairie Scholar, where we play to learn and learn to play. Have a nice day.